we have attempted to provide as accurate information as possible to assist all students with the exam preparation. Please note, however, that due to the accuracy of the memory, there may be subtle differences in words and phrases. When in actual exams, please carefully read the questions before using any of the samples. There are many reasons why water tastes stale when it is kept for a long time. Microorganisms play a big role in this phenomenon. When they grow, they release chemicals into the water from their metabolic activity. This evaporates over time, so the absence of it from water left out for a long period brings about a change in taste. The terms summary and abstract are often used interchangeably, resulting in some confusion. This problem arises because there are two distinct types of abstracts, descriptive and informative. The informative abstract is sometimes called summary. The descriptive is not. The descriptive abstract is usually only two or three sentences in length, hence it is not a summary or very informative. Deaf children learning a language could certainly pursue the development of listening and spoken language skills if desired, and doing so would carry much less risk knowing the child would have mastery in at least one language. If a child does not succeed in mastering either a spoken language or a sign language, we must then ask how much benefit the child derived from interventions in each language relative to the amount of time and resources dedicated to those interventions. A new analysis reveals that the slight decline in drug overdose deaths in 2018 coincided with Chinese regulations on the powerful opioid carfentanil, rather than being the result of domestic U.S. efforts to curb the epidemic. What many, including President Donald Trump, perceived as a decline in overdose deaths in 2018 appears to be a return to the historic exponential curve. Long believed to be on the brink of extinction, the Iberian lynx has made a remarkable comeback in the forests of Spain. Conservation efforts, including habitat restoration and captive breeding programs, have led to a steady increase in their population. However, this resurgence has not been without challenges.
Utilizing advanced high-pressure techniques, a team of researchers has explored the behavior of liquid hydrogen under extreme conditions. During their experiments, the scientists managed to observe hydrogen that remained in a liquid state even at temperatures below its typical boiling point. This study uncovered unique dynamic properties of hydrogen, offering new insights into its behavior in extreme environments. Researchers are exploring the potential of geothermal energy to power sustainable agricultural practices. By integrating geothermal heating systems into greenhouses, they aim to create year-round growing conditions with minimal environmental impact. This innovative approach could revolutionize food production in colder climates, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and enhancing food security. A groundbreaking study has proposed that the cycling of sulfur in early Earth's oceans could have been a critical factor in the origin of life. Sulfur compounds generated by underwater volcanic activity might have provided the necessary chemical energy for the formation of early metabolic pathways. This hypothesis underscores the importance of sulfur-rich environments in the search for extraterrestrial life, particularly on icy moons and planets with subsurface oceans. Innovative research has revealed that the interplay between UV radiation from the young sun and Earth's early atmosphere could have driven the synthesis of vital organic molecules. The energy from UV light may have triggered chemical reactions that produced key building blocks of life, such as nucleotides and amino acids. Understanding this process not only enhances our knowledge of how life originated on Earth, but also guides the search for biosignatures on exoplanets orbiting young, active stars. New insights into the role of meteorites in delivering essential elements for life to early Earth have emerged from recent research. These space rocks, which bombarded the planet around 4 billion years ago, are thought to have brought with them a wealth of organic compounds and water.
the interactions between extraterrestrial materials and Earth's primordial environment could have set the stage for the development of life. This theory also raises exciting possibilities for the existence of life on planets that have experienced similar meteoritic bombardments.